Live from Appleton, Wisconsin, it's APTV. Welcome to APTV, episode 526 for Thursday, January 25th, 2024. This week we have banter, news, updates, a pen club recap, vintage on the horizon, sailor for snow, Schaefer calligraphy, a contest winner, a new contest, plus an Edison double broad that is coming soon. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Brian. Do you know there's this new thing? There's this new thing, new rule that's being uh, put out by uh, man- manufacturers uh, that socks must be at least 12 inches long to be called a sock. Okay. Yeah, it's got a cover of foot. But I'm tish. Nice. I think socks should all match. There should be okay. like... Maybe that wasn't as funny as... <laughs> it's always funnier in your it head. It's funny in my head. Justin laughed. I think socks should either be black or white. That's it. No color. Well, Justin likes funky socks, but I mean... I have right, funky you socks all, on you today. You do. I have gingerbread, uh, gingerbread oh, nice. men on my socks but, today. But like you always lose one. Yeah. There's always usually. one that disappears. And if yeah. you have all these different designs and colors and patterns... Well, then, then you can mix and match. That's true. That would be fun. Oh, we're going to have mix and match sock day here at the store. <laughs> well, Justin, Dave, you, I think Eric. We're going to trade socks? No, just this is, <laughs> within yourself. No, you're a little not going to trade Off topic socks. here, maybe. But. Right? Wouldn't mismatch socks be fun? I think it would. All right. Tomorrow, Friday, <laughs> January 26th, is National Spouses <sighs> Day. And then it, uh, the only note we have in here is love, love is, is cool. cool. <laughs> so. Somebody was complaining. I say cool. One of us says cool too much. Well, so. you've said it three times now. Cool. Um, Thanks for joining yeah, us. Yeah, national, <laughs> national, <laughs> national spouses, spouses day. day. So, all right. Uh, Saturday, January twenty seventh, National Chocolate Cake Day. This is a day um, that is near and dear to your heart. I am absolutely a proponent of tasty, tasty cake, and apparently calories do not count. On that day. Okay. All right. What if you don't like chocolate cake? Then you find your nearest pen store, and uh, <laughs> they will be happy to uh, take those off your hand. Okay. All right. News. What's going on? Uh, so we got a, a pen club recap we from did, this we past had Saturday. Our first pen club meeting in a couple, several years since a while. pre-COVID. Yeah. yeah. Um, We had several people show up. Uh, We did an ink swap, and so you were invited to bring in anything that you've recently acquired so you could show off and brag and share, and then also ink. And so, you know, everybody has an ink or two that you bought and you thought it was going to be the perfect color and it it wasn't quite, or you discover shimmer doesn't work in your extra fine nibs or whatever. And so a lot of people brought in ink. I was surprised at how many people brought in. um, Alex, our part-timer, had a whole box. Uh, A couple other people had like boxes. We set up a couple tables and everybody put their stuff out. It was kind of a... And it was, you know, like a a swap meet. I don't think that money trained... Traded hands, but it was all between the attendees. But we also had a box of, I don't care what you do with it, it's just not coming home with me box. And so, um, yeah, I know it was a long name. Yeah, it ended up staying here. It did. It did. Um, Because people couldn't bear to throw it out. Maybe somebody else already had it or whatever, and there were several samples. But at the end, when I said, okay, well, this is last chance, a couple people did take from there, Good. Uh, yeah. including some samples. And, and uh, we gave out a couple, um, there were some giveaways and uh, we had some samples that everybody got for attending. Uh, so it was good. Yeah, nice casual, good. casual yeah. afternoon. Yeah, it was a really good way to, to start Pen Club again. And, and just, uh, we had people come up from Milwaukee and Madison, uh, Green Bay. Um, it was fun for a lot of these people to meet each other. Some already knew each other if they were from the, you know, there were a couple people from Madison who came up together or whatever. Um, so it was it was fun. It was fun. Uh, our next one will be March 2nd. And March 2nd. And we okay. are going to do a journaling class. So if you are interested, definitely reach out. Uh, in other news, check the outlet. We have some newly 
Discontinue Lamy items. You probably can speak to this. Yes, we you know uh, exactly received an updated price list from Lamy last week, I think. And um, as they do, you know, they bring in new colors of the Safaris and the All Stars and other pens. And eventually they do discontinue the old colors. So they are um, discontinuing the strawberries and cream in the Safari, the Azure and the Cosmic in the All Star. Um, there was um, a Swift, I think it was a Swift. The, um, I think there's some ions on the list. Like yes. Dark green. Most of the, uh, going the away. olive silver and the dark green um, ion. And uh, there was the rose gold Pico. That was a limited thing, I believe. A um, couple other things, the bronze um, all star from several years ago. And so, you know, as the warehouse has finally sold down, um, they have notified us of things that are being discontinued. And so if you're interested, we've moved everything into the outlet. If you want one, grab it before it goes, because these will not be um, restocked. Yeah, can't get them again. Uh, tomorrow oh. is also, yes. um, we actually we actually bumped this up a couple of weeks. Um, tomorrow will be our first vintage mailer of the year. Um, and so there will be... Uh, a not large number of new pens being offered in addition to uh, previous pens that we have just kind of uh, slipped into the, the queue. Newly listed old pens. Newly listed, yes. yes. <laughs> okay. So there there will be about probably close to 200 in the last month, including about, I think, 40 that aren't uh, are not uh, visible yet on the okay. website, but they are in the store. So if you're local, you can uh, check that out. Uh, and then just as a, a little bit of a sneak peek, we just picked up a very oh. large, very large consignment collection uh, this past week. Um, it's five pens. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of pens, a lot of pens. So um, rest assured, our vintage uh, mailers will continue in the future. It's a multi-hundred. It's, it's something. Massive. So. Yes. And there are some amazing pens. There's some killer stuff. Yeah. So. And none of them are making their way into your personal collection. So uh, <laughs> keep an eye out for that. I'll let you know when they're available. In uh, other news, inks are shipping. Uh, inks, inks are shipping again as weather has warmed up finally yes. uh, in Wisconsin. So um, and those, all around the all country. Around the country, yeah. So yeah. Um, all, if anybody has placed an order, all that, all those have gone out and they are on their way. Our poor mailman. We waited and waited, and we knew that this week would be better, and so we've just had these buckets and buckets and buckets sitting. And so poor Ian had a whole lot more on Monday. A lot, lot of work on Monday. Yeah. Where does the electric cord go shopping? The outlet mall. Just in and now just out. The Sailor Pro Gear Slim First Snow, this was really pretty. I opted not to keep one, which I thought showed great, great restraint. personal restraint. Uh, I'm, it was I am gonna, really pretty. I am going to check and see if, if there are, are any left. Uh, it was a very, very limited, yes. limited uh, run of these. So, um, but we're, we're complete, they're completely sold out. Yes. So. Um, really, really pretty. Had, uh, you know, your classic Pro Gear Slim design with your flat top um, barrel and cap. Uh, a translucent white, it was kind of a like a smokier frosted um, resin barrel and cap, and it had rhodium plated trim. It had really, really pretty bright blue um, silver glitter flecked, um, I know, I'm waxing poetic on the blue <laughs> shimmery uh, finial, the blind cap, and the... Um, Cap finial, and then the section was that same thing. All right, you're done. Snowflake <laughs> engraving, gonna, gonna 14 cut you off. gold, rhodium plated nib, and medium fine only. That snowflake was cute. So, I will see if we can get some more. Okay. Uh, but just in that we do have. Yes. Now, I took one of these out of the box, and it was really, here's a, here's a package. You can hold that up. The mini set. <laughs> uh, Schaefer calligraphy sets are back, finally. Um, uh, they, of course, every time they do this, re they redesign the pen just slightly. I hate it when they do that. I'm just going to go public and say that. <laughs> well, this time they're all one color. They're which, black which is with the matte black trim, which I think is, is, is super cool, um, you know, for these inexpensive. And then it has the gray grip section. I do like that. Yeah. That yeah. is slightly rubberized. Yeah. So, 
and uh, and so you get the you get the pen uh, in the single package with a couple of cartridges, or you can get the the mini mini pack, which has fine, medium, and broad sections, and then uh, 18 different cartridges. And the regular, the single pens come in either fine or medium. Yeah, looks like they probably have broad coming soon, but because uh, it's available in the kit, but not individually. But their fine is one millimeter, their medium is one and a half, and the broad is two millimeters. So for the calligraphy, yeah, for the calligraphy sets, yeah. 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 yeah, these are cool. These were always really popular at Christmas, so we were disappointed when they weren't ready for Christmas. Yeah. Um, I do like that they're all the same color. That does make things easy. Yeah. Um, and it's just nice to have them back. Yeah, and they have uh, what looks to be very eco-friendly packaging. It's cool. all cardboard. Uh, I'll probably never get that one back in the box, but uh, I'll play with uh, it. nice, nice packaging. So Great. How do you make an octopus laugh with 10 tickles? We got a spotlight on some paper. Spotlight, Peter because... Popper Press watercolor succulent. And uh, this, I know our friend Amanda is big into mm -hmm. succulents, and uh, she always loved this one. So uh, what I like about Inko, uh, so these are good for Inko Rimo, but what I like about Peter Popper is they come with 14 cards and 15 envelopes, because you and I both gonna know you're going to screw one envelope up, and then you're yep. out of sync. Yep. So, very cool. Yeah, so Inko Rimo, in case you don't know, International Correspondence Writing Month, which starts at February 1st. Oh. Write one card, letter, note, something a day for the entire month of February. I'm just going to say I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it this year. Will you do it for me? I'm not writing two. <laughs> Please return to Brian. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a note and then you give it back to me. That would be I could <laughs> sign little, it. Little checkbox. Yes, I love that you. Would be perfect. We'll have dinner. Yeah. That'd be okay. great. All right. Anyway, as long as you're talking about paper. Yes. Um, Let's talk. Claire Fontaine Triumph. These are great. Uh, We've had stationary these for years. And the envelopes. And the envelopes are actually fairly new yes. for us. So they come in two different sizes. You've got the A5 and the A4. I just don't know that I can hold. All four of them. They come in both blank and lined. It was pretty good, right? It's pretty good. I didn't drop it. I, really clumsy. And the um, we used to carry a different um, envelope, and uh, they were discontinued. They discontinued last and year. And yeah. these are actual matching Triumph envelopes. Uh, they come in the small and the large size. Yep. Twenty-five. A5 or A4, yeah, essentially. Twenty-five per pack. And they are really, uh, these are actually nice for fountain pens. Yeah. I, I will attest to the paper. Here's my, my personal Triumph pad. Uh, I've been using this lately for testing uh, the vintage pens. It's great stuff. Really, awesome. really great stuff. It's 90 gram, uh, acid-free, pH neutral. All right, so we've got another spotlight this week. The Co Pilot Custom Heritage SE. Um, I was excited when these came out because these are gorgeous. They're nice, aren't they? It's you know, it's nice to see something different from Pilot, and I like that then uh, they also use the same material on the um, the new Vanishing Point SEs. Yes, yes. But what am I talking about? Gorgeous, swirly acrylic. Yeah, this is going to be, I'm just going to say this. This is, this. you know, this is like the Namiki impressions that they used to have. Um, this is this is going to be a collectible pen in the future. I, I'm just going to say that. Um, and they're calling one. in right now. Yeah, and they yeah, agree sorry. with me. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, it's really nice. So it comes in black, blue, green, which is this, kind of this teal kind of uh, orange. And uh, I think we're missing a red we're here. We're out of the, the red. The orange is really that fire. I love that orange. You know, I wanted the uh, vanishing point in that same yeah, orange. Yeah, and somebody yeah, bought it. Yeah. Which is what you need to do. But, uh, so you're kind of torn between the blue and the green. No, I like the green. The green okay, is you're rough. not torn. I'm not torn at all. Yeah. Really? Usually you go with blue. Yeah, but it's a it's a this is kind of a tealy really. green. Yeah. It's not a green green. It's but uh, anyway, it's uh, number five size, 14 karat uh, rhodium plated nib, um, and it does come with the Con 70 uh, push button converter. Um, the nib comes in fine or medium only. Uh, yep. Which is a little different, but I like it. It kind of keeps things simple. And uh, you do get an ink cartridge and the Con70 uh, push-button converter in the box. So you've got everything you need to get you started. So this, this one will match my shirt, though. 
Yeah, see? That's nice. When in doubt, nice. I go orange. Custom Heritage, orange and it's got that, you know, that nice kind of sword clip yeah. to it. I like it because it's a little thinner. So, just really, really pretty. All right. So just thought we should mention uh, some of the more core product that, you know, everybody gets caught up in the latest new thing. So, no, don't forget about a, those a core great, product. Great pen. Solid pen. Great. So. Uh, we had a contest last week. We did. Uh, when was the last time you hand wrote a letter? I wrote one to Eric and Flavia not too, too, too long ago. I, I'm going to say February 28th, 2023, the last day in Corima last year. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's All probably right. it. For you? Uh, for me, yeah. Uh, Pam Scala says, hi, Lisa and Brian. I enjoy listening to APTV every week. I wrote a letter last week to my grandson, who is six years old. Aww. I used Sailor Dipton with the green ink, so pretty. Indeed, that Dipton ink is really very yep. pretty. Clark Freilich says, great job, guys. Thank you. It's good to have you back. I currently have about 10 pen pals from all over the world. The last letter I wrote was last week. It was an eight-page response wow. to a friend in Denmark. Wow. Um, Go Denmark. Eight pages. Thank you for your fun videos. All right. Uh, Debbie uh, Podgorski says, enjoy your videos. The jokes are corny but cute. I have two letters to mail today. I am in a letter writing group, and it is fun. Hmm? Okay. It just sounds like a lot of commitment. Well. Uh, Wesley H. Just write to me every day. Says, I last wrote to my grandmother a six-page letter, eight and a half by 11, wow. January 15th, 2024, with my new custom nib Twisby Mini. Now, thanks to this video, I have another pen on my list to get. Awesome. We do do that sometimes. Uh, Mara Christian says, I participate in a pen pal exchange group of fountain pen enthusiasts, so I write at least one letter a week. Wow. I have also started writing a letter to my adult kids in their 20s on their birthdays instead of a birthday card. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I plan on participating in Inco Rimo this year. Love all those Pilot Pocket pens with the florals. Yes, Indeed. those are so cute. There are more coming, more coming. <laughs> Tom Morley says, I wrote three or four letters last week to some pen friends with the first page or so for each letter written in a pen I got myself for Christmas. Very cool. All of the letters were two or three pages, though my handwriting is large. Okay. Uh, Lucas Bell says, I wrote my godmother a letter with her Christmas present. I do have a letter writing game I'm playing with a friend. I really need to write a response to her last letter. A letter writer. writing game. game. I want to know more. You're gamifying more. your letter writing. There I like go. that, Lucas. Tell me more. Heidi Ratz says, last time I wrote a letter, Tuesday. Two, as a matter of fact. But I have a regular group of snail mail correspondents. Have you ever thought about pen pals or joining a letter writing group? I am the worst pen pal. Cor I I'm, I'm the I, worst. Yeah, I just, I, 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 I think I'm worse. But yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to have one of those. If you want to have the worst pen pal ever, <laughs> write me. to us. Yeah, because we're not going to write you back. Um, I just don't. I keep thinking I'm going to. In fact, this year one of my kind of goals was to keep in better touch with certain friends and family, and I haven't even gotten to the point where I've reached out to double-check their addresses. So, so I'll, I, better, I'll I better hope to be on that list if I don't get anything from you. I know your mean? address. I <laughs> don't. Yes. And the winner is Karen Webster. And she says, if thank you notes count, then I wrote several full card thank you notes at Christmas for some very thoughtful gifts. I do plan to send some letters, so I went and I bought pretty stamps with waterfalls and tulips. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. That is often your downfall, you say. What's that? Not having stamps. Yeah. Well, yeah, for Inco Rimo, yeah, if you don't have the stamps, it's, I mean, I remember one year I wrote like, I wrote like the first five, six days. But then I had all these things on my desk, and I didn't have any stamps, and I never got stamps. And so, Karen, uh, you are the winner. Yep. Write to Eric at AndersonPens.com, and he will set you up for that $20 uh, credit to your account. <laughs> we have a new contest survey. I saw this this morning. I said, i got to start counting. Yeah. Um, uh, who writes this? Who's er in charge Eric of this? and I decide together sometimes. Sometimes he just comes up with it, and that's why we are... I need, I need definition on this question. Okay. The question <laughs> in question... <laughs> How many pens do you have at arm's reach right this moment? Well, this moment is subjective. Well, but. yeah. Um, he kind of meant like on your I mean, are desk. Are we talking fountain pens, ballpoints, rollerballs, mechanical pencils? 
uh, Eric's Writing idea was friends? that people hate, they love to hate to count things. So we're not going to do ink or notebooks right we're gonna do away. Pens that are within reach. Pens within reach. Okay. So at, he, at home or office? He didn't clarify, so you decide where you want that to be. Two. Two. <laughs> lie. Big <laughs> lie. Uh, one commenter will be chosen at random to win a $20 credit on his or her Anderson Pens account. And here's my... Making a prediction? Coordinating question. So if you're going to participate, do you... Um, Clean first? Do you um, kind of set your parameters? Does it change what you do with your pens? Like if you're looking, going, oh, I am not going to count all these, and then you quickly clean a bunch and put them away. Like does it change your habits at all? Or do you just say, this is what I have, and you count them? So I'm just curious. Yeah, that'd be, it will be the latter. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Coming soon. Coming soon. Newly announced to us. Uh, Edison Double Broad Nip. Uh, so these are the standard number six Yovos uh, with a double broad nib. It will fit all pens that accept that number six size uh, nib threaded uh, unit. The whole that's thing. a broad. That's That'll a be big. fun. No, this is this will be a good nib uh, if you do like uh, shimmer, shimmer sheen, or you're looking for a nib that maybe you want maybe to grind down a little bit. Now, obviously, you don't start with a double broad and, and do a needle point. Right. Um, but if you're looking to have something ground and you want a little bit more real estate to work with, uh, this might be a good option because uh, it'll fit in so many pens, so many pens that are on the market. Awesome. So. All right. Is that anything that you would write with or is that too big? Oh, I like double I like broads. And everybody does. They're calling in. Sorry. Um, <laughs> they know I, I like I don't products. know how to turn it off on my Apple Watch. I'm just going to go there. I just don't know. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, okay, so you like a broad name. I do, absolutely. <laughs> I own my flaws. <laughs> Happy National Spouse Day. <laughs> Love is cool. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. Like for me, I like a fine... Um, or a Japanese medium. So this is just like a sled for me. This is a shovel. Yeah. This yeah. is it'll be good. This will be nice. This is going to be great. I bet it's going to be popular. So along with entering the contest with your comment, hmm. comment on the double broad. Are you excited? Is that way too big? Do I think you... it's needed. Yeah. It's much well, needed. Clearly. Much needed. Much needed. Yes. Absolutely. So, uh, any, anything else you got this week? No. Any other surprises? I'm going to go before somebody else calls my watch and you and Justin both glare at me. Uh, so thanks for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And please like this video, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next there week. You go.